friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Becca. I'm really glad to have you here. There's no lights, okay? This is Nigeria, so we're filming with natural light. But look, I'm not even here to say a lot of things. Can somebody just explain to me what this bromance between Kid Waya and Lekon is all about? Like, when did they get this close? Because I don't really remember how it happened, okay? I know they have conversations and all, but um, this one, they, they work out together. They stretch leg, they stretch nails together. I don't understand. Now, on to the next question. Somebody should please tell me what kind of relationship Nengi and Ozo has? Because at this point, eh, even myself, I don't confuse. At some point, they make me feel like, oh, better love is sweet. You know that better loves love, okay? I love love. If you do not know, you know it now. But some other times like this, they're just like, you know what, better. Come on, your eye for where these people did because they vest me. Please, eh, just explain to me what Nengi meant by this thing she said to Ozo. The type of relationship we have is not the type of relationship where I sleep I don't understand. The type of relationship we have does not require us sleeping on the same bed. Please, what does your relationship require? Is it holding of hands, tapping on the nash, or just smiling at each other from afar? You need to explain it to us because I don't really understand. The day that they tell us, say, we are not in a relationship. Also, I have told you this thing times without number. But this also says, I'm not tired for us of matter. He's supposed to have gotten the cue by now. Like, this girl is not interested. She's just using your head to play game. She don't want to do. Not be by force. Last, last, not be by force. If she says she don't want to do, never say she don't want to do. Also, just keeps following her up and down, telling her, oh, he couldn't sleep, blah, 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 blah. What do you mean by you couldn't sleep? Sleep never catch you. If sleep catch you, you go sleep. Because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I promise you, yeah, I did not want to talk about this whole Lucy, Prince, Dora, Erica, Wahala again. But last night was a madhouse again in Biggie's house. Now, after they had finished their presentation, their wager tax, which, by the way, Biggie has not announced the winner. I think Biggie has started this whole thing of when they do a tax the day before, he will not announce it the next day and everything because I really don't know. A lot of you kept asking me about the upper task. Up until now, I don't know who the winner be. So all those questions, one and they asked me, why do they ignore? Now, because you don't know, I don't know whether Biggie don't forget that so they do Oppo task. I've been, I mean, miss out the announcement, guys. If Biggie has announced the Oppo winner, I beg, let me know because at this point, even myself, I'd be like, I don't know. But now, let's just talk about this whole Lucy's drama again. So, last night, yeah, Erica actually approached Lucy. You know, she wanted to have a conversation with her, and you know, they were talking about the whole thing. Lucy was explaining herself. She was like, Erica, you're the one that even tried to blow things out of proportion, you know, because even the kid wire that I said I don't want to be on the same group with him, he did not make a fuss out of it, and then Neil now came and started shouting. Erica was like, if Neil shouted, then Neil had the right to shout because I mean, I the end of the day is a group work and it had something to do with cash price and then lucy is like look for me i don't really care about the cash price if i win i win if i do not win i do not win but i cannot be in a group with people i do not really vibe well with and all of that because according to her yeah kid wire erica all those people when we did that group when lucy supposed day she mentioned to erica that see the last time we had the guinness task you guys know how it went it did not go so well and everything now you want us to be on the same team again it's not going to work it's not going to work and then she now started talking to prince prince now said Lucy, you're getting this thing all wrong. I said to you that any person that tries to impede on my success, that's when I get angry. You know, Prince was explaining why he had the outburst and everything. And I was like, look, I'm someone who likes to win. Now, every single time I'm trying to win and a member of my team is trying to just drag me back and everything, it pisses me off. And that's when I shout. Okay, Lucy, I've told you times and times again, I like to win. The money is important to me. This one is important to me. Lucy too is there saying, you, money is important to you. But for me, it's not really about the money. Money. Even if I joined your other group and we did not win, that's fine. But I just also want my peace of mind. Blah blah blah. And I saw the small talk where they talk, turn to shout again. And so Prince started to shout again. I said, Ah, oh, Prince, I've not really seen this side to you before. Like, what's up? We just didn't shout anyhow for the past one week. Small tea, don't shout. Alpha. This is our relationship. I don't really understand. It will fit up because if you shout, give me a shout, give me back. You know, shout for me, I shout for you. Got no verse. I take up baby. Oh man, I saw the shout, shout, shout. Oh. Lucy can't say Prince and Dorothy are fake friends. I say, uh-uh. People that have your back in the house. People that always find a way to motivate you. People that always find a way to make you smile. Now then they call fake friends. Now so Dora says, see, everybody should just leave her alone. It is obvious that this thing she does there, eh, she doesn't do them on purpose. So let's just leave her. Anytime she starts, everybody go just leave her. Please, they they shout, say, Lucy, me that always have your back. Even when we are doing stuff outside, I don't see you there. I'll come and be asking everybody, where is Lucy? Where is Lucy? Now you say we don't care about you. Now you say we're fake. Lucy, are you okay? I say, ah. Uncle, if you say you be fake friend, you know carry your fakeness, go on the other side. 
No need. Okay? If her head calm down now, now she goes to go find them. That's the thing. I actually like the friendship between Prince, Dorothy, and Lucy. Then they shout every time. Oh. But when they settle, you go, they ask yourself, say, I'll not be these people when they shout before. So I don't really like to put my mouth in their fights because trust me, trust me, they will make up. And when they make up, I will not be there. So let them shout all they want to shout. Let them say all they want to say. What I know for sure is that they're going to find a way around it. Okay? Lucy get for body. That one, nobody they argue. Lucy gets wala for body. And sometimes they get the vest. Me, maybe say, I'll just... Ah. Can be this? Other times I'm like, can the housemates just listen to her? Can they just take one of her suggestions at least? Because that's instead of the pain. Where every time if you talk something, they will just fash you until you talk. It ain't pain. Make her no lie, it ain't pain. I do public relations for a living, you know, and I know how it feels when you bring ideas to the table and your idea is not added to the PR plan. You'll cry. Even if you don't cry, your eye go red because someone like me, one go rack my head, rack my head, bring idea, come outside. Then you say, okay, if we do this thing for this client, then it's obviously going to bring this type of result. And everybody's like, mm, better not exactly. I don't think that your idea works. Brother, we'll go fight too. We go fight! When I think something finished, you tell me say no I'll work. Even if you want to tell me, not tell me for dear when will they do meeting. If you just text me, you start start tell me. But not gonna tell me, not gonna embarrass me for board meeting now. Mm. Now we they prepare Lucy with that. So I can understand her to a certain level. Not be every time, I don't really understand Lucy, but sometimes they be me like say, I want to understand the girl. Small time again, she go do another one. I would just ask her and say, ah, ah, is it the same Lucy? Lucy, what is it? Do you want to relax? And be taken care of at least anyways moving on i think i mentioned to you guys that biggie has not announced whether or not they won their wager but personally i enjoyed the performance because i mean prince represented katrina jones and he's like hello everybody my name is katrina jones i'm the boss lady i'm married to a british man i decided that i was going to make him happy i had a child for him and everything and i told him you know what darling i love you but i need to go do things for myself you guys know that that's how katrina talks i need to go do things for myself so i flew back to nigeria and you know did my liposuction you know just so i can get everything i say wait see i will even present for the dramatize it pass the katrina when get the nash pass the katrina when we say that she born the pekin pass the katrina when we say that she be the boss lady on her own okay but it was actually a very good presentation i enjoyed it neil actually represented tolani bad gang 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 period it was quite emotional for me at some point because you really never know how much you miss these people up until people start talking about them for example i did not know how much i had missed kaisha you know kaisha is just one person that people did not really talk so much about except when she did like one or two things but i missed the girl so much and i kind of remembered you know that song she taught them she was like he picked you up from nothing and turned you into something biggie 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 big brother Niger. Hey, kaisha if you ever watch this i miss you okay guys i feel like all these tasks sometimes just brings back a lot of memories and like i always say I'm a housemaid too, so I take note of all these things. Someone like Lilo, Lilo cannot make three sentences without saying like and obviously. She's like, obviously, like, um, I don't know, but obviously, like, Eric, Eric, obviously, like, I don't know, I'm hungry, Eric. I say, wait till they worry this one. Now, so that they talk, guys, the presentation was really nice. I just hope to hear from Biggie real soon. If he eventually announces, I'm definitely going to post that on my community tab. Yes, this community tab is really important to me. I put a lot of stuff there, so you guys need to figure out how best to always keep tabs with me on there, okay? Anyways, that's all the gist I have for you in this video. There's nothing else to talk about. Oh, by the way, the housemates, they were playing Thief and Soldier yesterday. I don't understand. With broken hangers, doing... I say, what is they worry all this about? I went on to say some of their mates don't born like 20. They did that, they do shoo 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 shoo, they hide, they dodge bullets. Bullets are not dead. Guys, that their game cracked me up. Like, they come up with the weirdest game ideas ever. Things that I would not even imagine myself doing. But when I watch them doing it, I'm like, oh, I miss this. Because, yeah, I played that game too when I was growing up. You know, the whole hanger gun and everything. We go break my mama hanger till they use them, they shoot gun. Then my mama, when she remember us, <laughs> when she remember us, now our body go tell us, say, you did something wrong. Because my mama go beat. You go beat. 
But anyways, the game was fun. I laughed so hard. I'm like, just look at these adults. This minute, they are all fine. They are all doing well together. The next minute, now shouts. But anyway, now so it will be until the game ends because yes, it's still a game regardless of the bonds they've been able to build and all of that. Big Brother Nigeria is just a game. Stop tightening things to your chest. You know those people that will be in my comment section dragging. They fight. They fight battle. They say not be their battle. You they shout. Shout for nothing. No need for all these things, okay? They're not going to pay you money. They don't know you. They don't know me. So why would they shout? Why would they kill ourselves? Last last not get meaning. We just they shout for nothing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Yes, we hit 44k thousand. I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much. I love you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I do not take you for granted. Alright, thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.